Free Submit Hub alternatives to get on Spotify playlists. Hey guys, I'm Charles Klein, singer, songwriter, and music producer. I've been promoting my music for a really long time now, and I've kind, I want to tell you the do's and don'ts of Submit Hub in this video and the alternatives that you can use to get your music on Spotify playlists. Everyone wants to get on Spotify playlists. It's pretty much one of the major ways to get discovered nowadays. And Submit Hub has really kind of grabbed that market and made a central hub for people to go and pitch their music to and then curators say yes or no. And most of the time they give you awful feedback, which is not very helpful at all. So I'm gonna tell you in this video, three Submit Hub alternatives that you can use to get um, your music on Spotify playlists. Number one would be Groover. You may or may not have heard of this one yet. They are quite new. They're based in France. Uh, a lot of their curators and playlists right now happen to be based in France too, but they are, um, they, they are a global company. They do have curators all around the world. I've done a few campaigns on Groover, so I'm going to show you what the back end looks like of Groover uh, so you can get an idea of it. They also have like um, bookers and labels and a lot of the different kind of pillars within the music industry. You can pitch your song to radio or promoters or different agencies well, as well. It doesn't actually have to just be Spotify curators. Why Groover is the number one on my list in this video is because they actually give quality feedback, um, positive feedback, but also constructive feedback as well. It's never negative. I've, all, I've sometimes gotten some just negative feedback on Submit Hub, which is just neither helpful and just kind of downright annoying. Groover, I find even if they don't take your song, they offer constructive feedback and try to be as genuine as possible. That's what I've noticed with my pitches. And I've also had a few friends that have done these pitches as well. And I've gotten some good positive constructive feedback if their song wasn't taken. And this is what the back end looks like and, and when and how you would start a campaign. So quickly show you this, um, which track would you like to send? You upload your track just like you would on Subit Hub. Step two is your selection. So they're looking if you want to receive detailed advice or do you want to get more visibility and media coverage or do you want to build uh, my professional entourage? In our case here, we're just looking to get on visibility and media coverage like Spotify playlists. Um, okay, so you go through, they're gonna set you up with some, some pros here, and then you go through these curators here. Keep in mind too, these curators, a lot of them are also on Submit Hub, but they do have more, more diverse selection up than Submit Hub because they are based in France and have more of a European kind of uh, audience or of curators. Here you can add each curator for two, I guess, Groover dollars, they call it. So let's say add this. Let's just add two for now. We go next. You can write them a message here if you'd like, and then you recap, and then I'll show you how much it costs. So in order to pitch to two influencers, the cost is 10 euros. So it's about $5 per influencer, which is more expensive than Submit Hub. I believe Submit Hub is you get two free standard credits per day, but then you can buy bulk credits. What do you want to pay for? Do you want to pay for good quality feedback and the potential of getting on a playlist, or do you want to pay a cheaper cost and maybe lower potential to get on a playlist and not constructive feedback? So it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want the, the latter, then go, go with Submit Hub. The second alternative to Submit Hub is Send It Right. Very similar to the others as well. Submission service where actually Send It Right though has an exclusive group and they're really connecting you to media. So you would go on, sign up for an account, upload your song, and then you would choose the media you want to submit your song to. And then you would, you have to buy credits on Send It Right. So one credit is $1. You can buy multiple credits and each media costs um, different amount of credits. If it's a really accredited media, it's gonna cost you more credits than versus a small blog, it might only cost one or two credits. So if the media doesn't get back to you at all, you get those credits back. So you don't have to worry about that if there's no reply within 48 hours. If there is a reply, and uh, they will give you feedback. And it's usually really good constructive feedback. And if they do get back to you and give you that feedback, then you don't get those credits back. And if the media gets back to you and they're like, hey, we really like this song, then at that point, they have about two weeks where they need to go and place your song. And so if they go and place your song on a blog, great, they'll send you the link. Hey, we got your post on this blog or we put the, your, po uh, your song on this playlist, for example. And then within those two weeks, if they haven't done anything and actually didn't get your 
song on those blogs or playlists or whatever, you get those credits back. So really there is that good cycle where it's like, if you are investing in them, at least you're gonna get some constructive feedback. If not, you're gonna get on playlists. And if you don't hear anything, you will get those credits in return. So nice to know that you is an investment that you will get something in on the end. And that's why Send It Right has made it as number two on these Submit Hub alternatives. The third alternative to Submit Hub is called Muso Soup. And here we are on musosoup.com. Very similar type of thing. They're a hub that connect you with curators and media. What makes Muso Soup different is they actually will listen to your song before you start a campaign. So if your song is just not good, they'll be like, hey, you probably won't have any success here, save your money. So that's nice because on the other ones, they don't really do that. They're like, yeah, we'll take anything and we'll take your money. And then you go on and do a one-time payment for a campaign where you submit to curators and media. So it's not um, like the others where you do one-off payments for each curator. What I really like about Muso Soup is just how transparent they are about that because they're listening to your song and making sure it's good, but they're also just like super transparent on their website where they tell you where the money is going. So that campaign, the one-off payment is about 20 bucks and they'll tell you like, hey, 750 goes into funding for the curators and then the rest of it goes to funding their actual team to keep up the, the company. Those are three alternatives to submit hub that I would recommend checking out to get your music on Spotify playlists. Feel free to check out some of my other videos on how to get on Spotify playlists and feel free to subscribe if you're into that kind of thing and you wanna grow your independent music career. That's what I talk about on this channel is music marketing and music production. So please stick around, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.